think it was January, whatever, whatever day this happened in 2020 when Kobe died. I think ever since then, a lot of us have like seen videos, heard stories, read books, all this different stuff on Kobe, right? And I'm one of those. And like, I've never not liked Kobe, but I like him a lot now because I'm learning more about his work ethic and all these different things that made him tick. So I've been reading this book. I've read his Mamba mentality. But the point is, is I've been thinking about this as I've been studying this book, is I've been thinking about one thing. I know that Kobe, like, okay, he has this regular season, right? And he plays in all these games and he plays basically every minute of every game, especially when he was younger. And I started thinking like, how many hours of practice do you think Kobe did for every hour of game time? For every hour that he was on the court, in front of the camera, on live TV, in front of the fans, how many hours prior to that, if you went and took total practice hours to total game time hours, what do you think that ratio was? And I bet conservatively, very conservatively, you could say that he was at least six to 10 hours of practice working on the crossover, working on the jump shot, working on the fadeaway, working on the footwork, working on the vertical jump. Like if you looked at total practice time to game time, I bet you that would be such a conservative investment, six to 10 hours per every single hour of game time. So I started thinking about it, I'm like, all right, I'm never gonna be Kobe Bryant. Never, ever, ever gonna be Kobe Bryant. Like that's his thing, right? I'm never gonna be that guy. But I can be the Kobe Bryant of selling. I can be the Kobe Bryant of selling flat fee deals. No problem. Like that, that's an achievable goal. And I love that goal. I love the idea of that goal. That makes me jack. But to get there, this is what's crazy if you think about it, right? So let's picture this business that we're playing basketball, which is every single interaction with the business owner from the time we call them and we get them hooked to when we send them a lead, to when we do the setup, to when we do the screencast, to when we do the Zoom close, that's game time. Question I have for you is how many hours are you putting in a practice before going into game time. And I would argue that you're probably putting in none. Most of us aren't putting in any practice time. We're just rolling up to the game. We didn't stretch. We didn't work on our jumper. We didn't even work on our damn layup. We're just rolling up to the game and we're wondering why are we not closing deals? Like, why can't I get somebody hooked? Why can't I get somebody to respond favorably? Why can't I get the perfect screencast? Why is it awkward when I call the customer to do the live transfer? I'll tell you why, it's because you don't practice. And I'm just as much to blame or at fault as anybody else. And I started thinking about it today. I'm like, dude, it's insane. Like we don't think about it that way. But if you think about your time with the customer is game time. That's where you lose and make money is when you're talking to those customers. That's the game time. How much are you actually practicing? And my guess is none, zero. And you're like, I can't figure this out. I don't know why I'm not getting deals. I don't know why I'm not closing deals. I don't know why da 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 da. Well, you're not practicing, right? And so I made up my mind to like, I've been studying him since he died and it's been fascinating. I'm sure there's a lot of good documentaries and all that stuff in the works, but I'm fascinated by that guy's obsession to the details, his obsession with the strategy. He's the guy that wouldn't just show up and hey, Phil Jackson, tell me what to do. He was the guy that's like, yo, Phil, what do you think about this? Like he was so obsessed. He's like, I'm gonna be the best player and I'm I'm thinking on a high level like, hey, can we do this other strategy that's gonna help us win the game? And a lot of us are in this and we're like, why am I not at 50K? Why am I not at 10K? Why am I not at 100K? Why am I not? Why don't I have a damn deal? Yet we put in zero time, zero time like practicing. Reminder for anyone that's new here, the only time you make money is when you talk to business owners. How much are you practicing sales? How much are you studying sales? Look at the last week. How much sales material did you read? How many role plays did you do? How many pitches did you give to the mirror? How many pitches did you record? How many pitches did you give to a colleague? Zero. I bet you I can answer for everybody, zero. You guys literally are not practicing, but we're like, what the hell? And I get it, like, we're like, we, you don't think about it like that, but when you start to think about it, it's insane. Like, we just expect it. We're spending all the time on the stuff that doesn't matter, and the only thing that makes us money is the sales. How much time did you spend refining your craft of sales in the last week? That's the question I want to ask you. And I'm telling you that like I've made a commitment and I'm a big, big person that's, obs I'm, I love, I, you can tell, I start talking about sales, I get excited, I start getting high energy. I love sales. But if I'm being honest with myself and I'm looking at the last seven, 10, 14 days, I haven't spent near enough time. I haven't spent near enough time on my craft. This is the one thing that brings money in the door is my sales and I'm not studying enough. So if I want to be like this, I want to be the Kobe of closing, the Kobe of prospect, and the Kobe of flat fee lead gen deals. I got to start putting in, in some actual freaking work, and so do you guys. So practice, practice, practice. If you guys aren't reading sales material, if you guys aren't doing role plays, if you guys aren't trying to perfect the craft of sales, I don't know what to tell you. That's the one thing that makes you money. You're not willing to study it.